Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a cheap USB fan faster. And you will also have a speed adjustment on the back, like this. The parts needed for this job are a MT3608 voltage boost converter module, 50 kilo ohm potentiometer, one mini on off switch and one 2.1 and one 2x 75 cable which is this cable that it has two wires in it and they are 0.75 millimeters thick on the copper core so also you need some tools like soldering soldering wire and soldering iron and flux so to make this you need to desolder the MT3608 potentiometer which it has a 100 kilo ohm multi-turn potentiometer on it the reason that we used 50 kilo ohm a half of that is that we want the half of the output of the module because if we are going to give 30 volts to the fan it's probably going to damage the fan so we're going to half the voltage to around 16 volts and 15 volts around 16 and 15 and the maximum will be basically 15 or 16 volts depending on the potentiometer's accuracy so you have to desolder this potentiometer and put wires through these holes and solder the wires to the potentiometer and place the potentiometer on the outside of the fan. The fan has this little compartment for cable management that you can put the little module in here. I've put in, in a module in here and you can also put a knob on this potentiometer to give it a be better look but you don't need to do it. There is a switch like this, a barrel jack input that goes through the switch to the input of the module and the output of the module goes directly to the fan. And there is the potentiometer that's connected to the module right here. So to test the fan, I have this cable that has an end of a 2.1 millimeter barrel jack, barrel power jack and you can plug it in like this and there is a USB on the output so I'm going to plug in the USB my USB power adapter which has 1 amp of current capabilities I'm going to plug it in as you can see it's not turning on for now because we didn't turn on the switch there's the switch as you can see it turns on now it runs on 4.5 volts rather than 5 volts because the module has a 0.5 volts voltage drop when set to the low lowest and we're going to increase the voltage using this potentiometer I'm going to slowly turn it as you can see the fan speeds up and it blows a lot of air right now even more and the fan got really speedy right now but if you set it on the lowest it has a really low rpm and not making much air but if you increase it from the potentiometer As you can see it's going a lot faster which is a lot better and also I have some tips about these fans to make them even more efficient and to make them blow more air so you need to take out the screws of the fan there are four screws one here two here three here and the fourth screw 
they are the the screw, screws are bolted in so when you try to unscrew it you have to hold the bolt with your finger yes. so we are going to basically take off the top mesh the span taking the so we are going to basically take off the top mesh of the span taking the screws out like this and the mesh pops out like this there's the mesh so Here's the fan, as you can see, and the rotor attached to it because these cheap fans usually use brushless motors. There is a Hall Effect sensor right here. If this Hall Effect sensor is bent back, it wouldn't perform as well. You have to make the Hall Effect sensor as straight as possible, but don't bend it front. This would also affect the performance. Just make it as straight as possible and don't use too much force on it because it may snap from the solder connections it's a sensitive part you have to make it as straight as possible with a flat attached screwdriver and you can put the rotor back in and usually the fan fins of the fan are made out of metal and you can check the alignment of the fins they should be high like this you should make them as high as possible but you can make them as high as possible that it doesn't contact with the outer shell because if it contacts with the outer shell it will break the rotor and bend the fins and it would affect the performance a lot so if you bend them like this make this high like that it will blow much more air when you do it like this and do a check put the cover on try to spin the fins a bit and see if the front cover makes a contact with the fins if it doesn't then it's good you can just put back the screws but if it does contact with the front panel you should put the fins a bit down and then you can put back the screws and bolts put the screws diagonally first so the outer cage doesn't have tension on it and that's how you modify this cheap little USB fan when it comes to power consumption of these fans they usually draw about 300 milliamps at 5 volts which makes about a power consumption about 1.5 watts and we upgraded the fan voltage to around 7 volts with the MT3608 voltage booster module and it can be also adjusted from the potentiometer and the current draw will be 1 amp at maximum which will be 5 watts at maximum Normally these fans are rated for 1.5 watts but you can give them more voltage and make them draw more power and this would move a lot more air than just making them work on 5 volts.
and that's how you modify these cheap USB fans to make them blow much more air and have a speed control on them. This is Arduino Atelier. Thank you for watching. If this video is helpful for you, please consider subscribing and press the like button.